I'm here with NASCAR Nationwide Series Joe Ballish, and he was going to talk today about the templates that go on in the NASCAR Nationwide car. Yeah, what we have is a new template grid that we're using with the new cars. In the previous years, we had about 36 templates that we used on the NASCAR Nationwide cars, but they were not interlocking. What we've done with the new car to, to help us control the surfaces of the car is we've locked all the templates together in that grid. Uh, what that does is it allows us to, to control the surface. Uh, we release what we call a gold surface to the teams, and, and we don't let the teams manipulate any of the, the areas between the templates. It also allows us to actually go in and cut a template between you know, any area, X, Y, Z coordinate that's on the grid itself. And this is for all makes, they all use the same grid. Yes, absolutely. We have some common areas that are on the car that that, that grid fits to. And then we also have some identity templates that fit on the nose of the tail of the car. And that gives the, the manufacturers their look to the nationwide car. Is Besides the main grid, is there any other templates that they must conform to? Yes, absolutely. We have the main grid, and then when we go into the inspection building, we have nose and tail modules. We also have a module that goes on the, the rear spoiler that aligns that up. Uh, and then we have some handhelds that fit into some places that are aerodynamically sensitive.